Let's go, guys. Black Mirror. I like the custom cursor. Reminds me of hidden object games. Let's hope it doesn't crash. It wouldn't, right? Okay, this is us. Whoa, holy fuck, we're fast. Oh, look at his limpy legs. His feet is pointing inwards. Okay, I guess I'm going there. <laughs> Who are we following? Oh, it loaded. You cannot He's insane. Wait. Okay, I am controlling him. What's that? I Aww. failed you, son. Forgive me. Forgive me. I will let you down no longer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What are you doing? Oh. Oh! He hit it. Oh, let's go. The music is great. Holy fuck. That orchestra. Uh, I guess you want me to go up here? Uh, we're gonna kill ourselves, aren't we? What's this? Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh. Is it our wifey? Was? Oh my god, his running animation. Coward! You betrayed your family! Do I have to do here something here? What was he looking for? Oh, did he just cut his own? Oh. Yeah, he did. The fuck is he doing? The fool le cloich gion mi mucha. Gabu jam prish gabi mi rish. Gab. He's invoking me. You're too late. You will not get him. He is mine. It'll work. It must. What do I do? Oh, he's eating it! Holy fuck! Holy shit! This dude! Whoa, determination. He's just fucking standing there. That's intense! Holy... The dude's not even like trying to... Like... Put the fire out. Holy shit, that was an intense start. My dearest David, it was with great joy that I received your last letter. Know that you are missed terribly here in India. Oh, we're in India? If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. John loved his family. Loved his family, his family. But he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. So, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother. The 
Family of snakes, beware key. Oh, are we gonna have to fold that? Key. Beware. Family of snakes. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, hey, look at that. The ramblings of a madman. I couldn't even bring myself to show this to mother. Is this giving me, um, fucking, uh, vibes from Alone in the Dark, New Nightmare? Library, find the answers, my boy. I'm just uh, clicking on all of them, just in case. It needs to be registered, you know, in the game. Okay. Quick, eat it. <laughs> He's so bored. Good sir, how much longer until we reach the castle? Almost there, sir. Just like two hours ago. The estate really does like Avenger. The track. Thank you. Six months, holy shit. Congrats on half a year. On your way to the baby. Oh, did you know gaming is here? Holy fuck. I didn't see, sorry. Hi. <laughs> a note about what is the it? library. A key uh, and, and some sort of broken toy. Should I even try to read it? Oh man, I'm so excited to use these things. Oh. Ah, oh, Liam, thank you. We have arrived, sir. Sir. <gasps> Quiet's making a little pouch again. <laughs> a little nest. Oh, I'm pretty excited about this. This is gonna be pretty good, I think, puzzle-wise. This music's so good! <gasps> Lima, thank you! Oh, 16! Holy fuck! Thank you so much. Hey, Krauts. I did see you before. Hey, everyone. Coming in. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. <laughs> That's uh, the first you. thing you say. I lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. Ooh. Big mansion. I'm excited. Did I examine the box? Did I forget? Oh, I like him. <laughs> I like his glasses. He's arrived, my lady. <laughs> David. Welcome to Skahandu House. Skahandu. Lady Margaret, how kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. Uh... An impressive building. Skahandu, though. Skahandu? Unusual. What, what does it mean? Unusual only if you have not bothered to study Gaelic. Ouch. It means Black Mirror House. Oh. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. If I may, I would like to know more I about like my the father's way this looks. last days. <laughs> it is too late in the day for such morbid talk. <laughs> you do look so very much like John, though. Angus, please show Master David to his room. Yes, ma'am. So he's the driver I and the butler? A journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It oh, was Scotland. most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers Edinburgh. who have served the Gordon family there. for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. 
Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. Do I have like a passport? Documents. Whoa. <laughs> Where was I keeping those? Hmm. Oh no! I want what to trust all of you. Object. No! Don't make it harm uh, ominous like that. Can we trust him? Look at his narrow eyes. In anime, he would be like a fox character. Isn't it? It belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. Like its new owner. Ooh. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. Eat the candle. <laughs> Please follow me, Master David. Okay, butler. <laughs> Go the other way. Ah, uh, it's so dark though. Okay, let's see. Is there a way to run? Oh yeah, I was... I can strafe. Who dat? That my daddy? Your grandfather. Oh, grandfather. His lordship Edward Gordon. Can I... yeah. There is no denying it. We are family. Really? I don't, I don't see the rose Somebody emblems. still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as mother believed. Grandfather Edward. Father never spoke of you. But mother never had a kind word to say. Ouch. You were the worst of the lot, she said. Oh, I ha always hate it when people talk that bad about their own family. Where'd the butler go? Wait, what? I suppose it's hard to keep things dry, but with all the rain you get here. A most amusing, Master David. <laughs> we do our best. <laughs> most so amusing, none of us asshole. Are as young as we used to be. Where the fuck is he? It's so uh, fucking dark. This way, sir. Where are you? Oh, Jesus. It's fucking dark. Can I get a candle of my own? Oh, what an amazing shot! Oh, I would get so paranoid in that house. <laughs> ten out of ten. That sometimes, sir. Okay. Okay, I'm very, very, very into this so well, far. Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. I am Mr. McKinnon. I was about to say, are we uh, on Mr. first McKinnon. name best basis? Yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, Ooh. if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. I don't know if I will. Maybe he's more of a morning person. <laughs> That's a good one. So this house doesn't have electricity, does it? Um, how can I... Uh, I want to... Yeah. I got somewhat turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. Was McKinnon. That hard. But I think my room is probably around here somewhere. Hmm. Can you see the tower? Hold on. This looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a moment. Yeah. This is a piece of a model. Yeah. Oh, the music! I feel so accomplished. La, 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 la. I doubt this place could ever be properly warm. Yeah, I would probably sleep in front of the fireplace. Mm, closet? Everything I ever owned could fit in there. Five times over. Damn, you have nothing. 
Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. He's strong. Oh, Clarts, thank you. Thank well, you for the four months. Your local law that require me being here in person. I would probably never have come. <laughs> the pigeon oh, wants the cats. they need you for something. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. Right, right, right. Because my dad died trying to protect me. So they need me for something. This handsome, cheery, sober man is not the one I remember from my childhood. Did he get his act together? Hmm. Not many matches left. Oh, no. Don't tell me there's limited matches. I should get a new passport. This one's filling up. Oh. That's good. He travels. Okay. Um, I would like a candle or something, because it's too dark. I can't even see what's in this corner. My faithful friend Insomnia. Ah. Uh. I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. You want to go to the library? You need to find a candle, though. Um... What was that sound? Pieces of some kind of drawing. How odd. Photo pieces. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. Okay, cool. Ah, just what I need. Hell yeah! Oh, look at that. So bright. Yeah, what's here? Bathroom? I will put your high praise of Scottish water to the test, Father. <laughs> Later. <gasps> okay. Bathroom. Okay, let's see. Um, let's leave. Yeah, can we? Wow. Don't get bitten by naked men. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have to check everything. We have to treat this as like a More point and click. Of the same drawing. Okay. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. We're still gonna miss stuff, we I'm meet sure. Again, old foe. <laughs> I like him. I like him so much. Okay, so we saw something from here, right? Something that made us suspicious. A dumb waiter, big enough to fit your own weight and food into. <sighs> Your own weight, huh? Let's remember that. Okay, that's dark. I'm gonna just make one round. Okay, it goes up there, more stairs. Oh god, so many places to check. Ah! Okay. More rooms. Something at the end here. Found more pieces of a photo. Can I... Uh, okay, this door doesn't open. Good. This one? No. Pro power walker. Definitely. This one? Barging into someone's bedroom in the middle of the night is not how to earn their trust. God, he has a nice voice. Oof. He's hypnotizing me. Okay, stairs. Let's leave the upper floor for later. Let's check out this creepy dark room. <laughs> Hi, Lucas. Oh, I'm not doing anything. Cutscene, I see. No, this isn't right. There should be a room here. He's trying to uh, keep listening. No, this isn't what I need either. Where is it? Eavesdropping, Mr. Gordon? <laughs> That's hardly proper. Okay. I mean, I'm not exactly hiding Ghosts, with a fucking legends, lit candle. Ancient history. Where's the rest of them? The where? Rest? The West? The Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole. 
I started reading this, though never got round to finish. <gasps> Sloth, thank the you. The gentle maid whose hapless tale these melancholy pages speak. Say, gracious lady, shall she fail to draw the tear adown from thy cheek? Hmm. Hmm. God, the voice acting is really high quality. It's really well done. It's a joy to just listen to them talk. Despair by a man called Howard, Howard Phillips, Phillips Lovecraft. Lovecraft. Ghastly shades of bygone gladness, clawing fiends of future sadness, mingle in a cloud of madness ever on the soul to lie. Thus the living, lone and sobbing, in the throes of anguish throbbing, with the loathsome furies robbing night and noon of peace and rest. But beyond the groans and grating of abhorrent life is waiting sweet oblivion. Damn. Culminating all the years. There's a really low stress. rumbling in the background. And it's the fucking up my ears. Soul. It's really unsettling. I can feel it like vibrating in my ears. Oh, caterpillar, thank you for Is the 50 bits. Father meant by a family of snakes? Wouldn't it be more comfortable working here? Uh, that's Lady Gordon's private desk. Oh. It would be improper for me to use it. Wouldn't it be more... Okay. Uh, that's... So, we'll leave that for now. Let's remember snakes. Selected poems by Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe. Poe. Take this kiss upon the brow, and in parting from you now, thus much let me avow. You are not wrong who deem that my days have been a dream. Yet, if hope has flown away, in a night or in a day, in a vision or in none, is it therefore the less gone? All that we see or seem is but a dream. Within a dream. Oh. A dream within a dream. Bob oh, Inception. Okay. This is not where we entered, is it? Or is it? Oh, I guess it is, huh? Okay, let's leave. Oh, Jauchi! Wow, that notification sound is really soft. I guess it's fine for this time. I'll have to fix it again later. Thank you so much, Jauchi! It's so nice of you. Okay. That was that door. We checked this corner. Should we go downstairs or upstairs? What do you guys want? I guess if we go downstairs, we can probably access the library and talk to the dude. With the glasses. Yeah, it's a mansion notification. Upstairs is completely bottom to bottom up. Work your way up. Okay. Damn. Two steps at a time. Risky. Let's check here. Yes, this goes to YouTube. Yes. Oh, cutscene? Or is it just loading another room? Yeah. Ooh, that's creepy. Oh, her dress is clipping. I was like, what the fuck is going on with her leg? But now it fixed itself. So it probably just had to sink down from loading her into the room. Let's let's not talk to her though. She's kind of creepy. <laughs> Hello. Mm. Why is she just lying in a chair? Why isn't she going to bed? Lady Margaret and Edward. <laughs> How young they look. And who is <clears> this? <throat> you really know very little about your own family, David. I mean, if you've always been traveling and your dad was a dick, don't really blame you. What year is this game supposed a to take place in? place to spend the night. I best not wake up. 
Oh god! Listen. Wait, what? Creepy! How dare you? No, I will never. It's not true. It's all lies. <laughs> Damn. An impressive collection. Grandmother's obviously a music lover. Um, I'll give that a spin later. I'll give that a spin later. Well, okay then, let's go. Thank you. Oh, get a really rare in your gap shirt. Yeah, nice. Nothing here. That low, low rumble is still in my ears. Thank you, Gum. Not sure I said thank you yet. Thank you for the bits. I think I did. Yeah. Who would tear up photographs, given the painstaking process surrounding their creation? Nah. <laughs> Must be old then. It's too dark outside to speculate about the size of the estate. Oh, what's that? Somewhere out there they found father, or rather what was left of him. What a cruel way to take your own life. On the morrow, how will Game is 1980s. As it looks the sun is up. way older. I mean, they don't have electricity. And he's dressed like it's the 1800s? Or early 1900s? Oh, basement. Holy fuck, this place. Just how old is the Gordon clan? For all I know, it could stretch back to Roman times or even further. Hmm. Let's see. Why do I have to hold An that? I doubt it was buried in the ashes on purpose. Someone must have lost it. Got it. Okay. Contrary to everything I've learned so far about Grandfather Edward, Controls are really nice. Lady Margaret still worships him. It's really relaxing to just sit with a controller in my lap. I always prefer that over PC controls. The cold doesn't seem to affect the residents of this house. All the fires are fighting a losing battle against the draft. Yeah. I mean, that's normal for houses this big. I used to regale my Indian school friends with tales of knights in shining armor. Why India? Why did he go there? Is this the back door? Oh, locked. Oh, hi. Okay, nothing here. I wonder how many pictures are I have by now. Well, let's just keep exploring, huh? Yeah, it looks great so far. I really like it. Wait, am I back in the main hall? Is it craftsmanship? I doubt our family could afford a marvel such as this nowadays. We should sell the place, get rich. I can see the family resemblance. <laughs> this one died very young. Hmm. What's going on with those pictures? One. None of them seem to have made it past middle age. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's just the lighting effect going bonkers. Okay, let's check this side of the hall. Uh, oh, he doesn't want to go hmm, into this corner. Yeah, I'm totally fine with uh, PC controls. I mean, I play like Overwatch and Final Fantasy XIV with PC controls, but for some game, I, it's just like a more relaxing position to be in with a controller. Who the hell this?
Dick sticky fish. Oh my god, you look gross. He has a tattoo on his neck. Why are you sitting in the dark? Well, he's blind. There's enough light for me, laddie. Oh, your eyes. I'm sorry that I didn't realize. I see more than most do, son. <clears throat> you are? I'm the one who keeps the house from being covered in weeds. How does he do that when he's blind? Rory. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm David Gordon. Does he just feel the I entire garden up and down? Pretend you were coming today. Did you know my father? I did. I. Shameful what they did to him. They. What do you mean? H who is they? Uh. Hmm. Oh fuck! There's someone at the door. Tell me what I miss. Oh, perfect. Uh, let's uh pick it up again. How long have you? Worked for the Gordons. Always been a gardener, and I do some fishing. The lock's up on the place, calms the nerves. Oh, leave you to your supper then. He's weird. Glitchy too. Being a Whoa. garden can be a curse, laddie. Look at that Your tattoo. Your father tend the hard way. Mind you didn't follow in his footsteps. Ugh. Blood. Can't believe the dude assumed Not it was beer. But yeah, I um I bought thirty cans the other day. This might come in handy. Um, what, what did they pick up? Item added. I have no clue what I picked up. Um, but turns out the Pika likes it too, even though it's diet soda, because he normally hates diet soda. So, I drink one in the morning, and then he drinks one or two in the evening. So we've been going through them really fast. Oh hi, big boss. Hi. How's my beautiful man? You can only see your tail here. Okay, how are we gonna do this though? I need my hands. You lie down, yeah? Okay. Then I will put the controller here. Okay. Rory just disappeared into the darkness. I mean, he doesn't need light, so. Oh, and Big Boss is gone. Um, I had, didn't come from the here, I think. Cellar, ah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I had to explain to him that they don't sell Dr. Pepper in supermarkets, so I order it online. But I found a place that order uh, sells it online. Like Skittles. <laughs> but no Skittles now. I'm back on my no-carb diet. So fucking hungry this morning. My body's in going through the entire cycle again of where's my carbs? We haven't been here yet, right? I call it soda because in Dutch it's it's also a soda. Or prick, actually. Oh, here we are. If you don't mind, I have a system and don't want to mix things up. Lady Gordon is very keen on confidentiality. Of course. Wait, but isn't Lady Gordon my mother? Mm. That looks... 
daunting. Daunting, but rewarding and fascinating. Fascinating? Yes, indeed. The history of the Gordon family goes back a long way. So it's true we are one of the oldest families in Scotland. Oh, much more than that. They don't have a the Scottish have accent at all. Back into antiquity, before records were even kept. Add to that some unique and unusual local laws. Well, it can be a challenge, but a welcome one. Did you know my father? I was called did to the house know? shortly after your father arrived. Why did that need a lawyer? Those complex local laws I spoke of were to blame. Your father left when Edward died, so none of the required legal formalities to transfer the house were observed. Does that mean...? Not at all. Uh, there will be no issue with transferring the estate to your name, if that is what you wish. Uh, have you had a chance to examine my papers? I have, and am delighted to say that everything is in order. I would not be doing my job if I didn't warn you that with Edward dead and your father absent, the family fortune has somewhat diminished over the years. <laughs> However, the real treasure is the castle and the grounds themselves. I haven't spent as much time as I'd like here, but it is a unique place. Well, it's been a long day. I bid you good night. I'll get myself something to read and then head to bed too. Good night. Okay. We can go over the papers now. Do we want to read it? Oh, I can't read it. This is your chance, dude, to go over everything. I want to trust him, though. That's a creepy chair. I mean, you could still sell the furniture and the house for a lot of money, I think. If if he really doesn't have any connection to this place, then why would you even stay here? I guess it would be a free place to stay. Um, where did we come from? Oh, this corner? Yeah. Okay, let's go up. Oh, it takes us here! I see. Uh, maybe we can check this again. Oh, locked. Use wire. I don't remember where mm, I picked that up. This might take a while. I need to be steady and try to. Oh, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Did I open it? <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Examine. The hell's that? Aren't those from the paper I had from my dad? With the math on the back of the note? Another photo piece. Don't know what that is. Oh, locked. Do we have a key? Dear Lady Gordon. Oh, I write to you with the it speaks. urgency. I'm seeking information about my patient, your son, John Gordon. During our conversations, he makes allusions to his relationship with his father, but will not expand when pressed. You have failed to respond to my previous request, so I'm writing again to insist in the strongest terms possible that you furnish me with the required answers. Your son's recovery depends on it. Yours faithfully. I wonder if the delivery Dr. guy Dr. likes the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> What secrets about my father is Lady Margaret concealing? Father knew how to open the cabinet. This will help. Wait, what? Ah! Ha ha! Ha ha! Fuck. Um... Father knew how to open the cabinet. This will help. I need to... Uh, fuck. I need to, like, write this down or something. Bracket is three. Oh, that'll work. Bracket three. That makes P1. Yeah, that must be it. And then that would make the gate six. Um, which would make the bow tie eight. 
That should work. Brackets. Three. Per gate six. P one. Uh, bow tie eight. Kaching, bitches. Now, what did we open? This thing. Something unlocked. Oh, the bottom drawer. Oh, locked. Fuck. Wait, then what did we... Something unlocked. Oh. Something's not right. Something's not right. Okay, what are we trying to do? Something's not right. What does it do? I don't see it changing anything. Something's not right. Do I have to just re remember an order? X A. Something's not right. Okay, so X A X. Okay, maybe it's uh, maybe we just have to follow the thing on the side. So we did white, no, we did black, white, black, white, black, white, 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 black, black, white, white. That should be it. That's all of them. Something's not right. Fuck. Uh, black, white, black, white, black, white, 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 black, black, white, white, black. Is there more around the corner? Where does it go? Oh, hello. Just goes in here. Backwards. Oh. That sounded like some part of the desk moved. This side is done as far as I can tell. But there must be more. Huh. What an intricate piece of furniture. Hello, quiet. Let's see what father didn't even want his own family to find. Maybe the snake continues here. Oh, oh, we almost had it. Hmm. Now, what are you for? So black, black, white, black. Okay. Um. So black, black, white, black. Ah, we're getting somewhere. Yes, that's too open. One more. Here we go. Oh, now we can just unlock that? Oh, because we got the key. Oh, Freda, thank you. Holy shit. Thank you so much. A key and a note from father. Oh. Oh, it's Someone getting so is cool. tampering with my work. I know it. I know it. Can I zoom in on the text? I hear them as they whisper and snicker. They sneak in when I sleep. This place isn't safe. I have locked my work away in the study. I am leaving now. I will put an end to this terrible torment one way or another. David, if you find this, then I am dead. The forces abroad here have got to me. I am sorry you have been drawn into this tragedy. 
The answers you seek are amongst the papers in the Master's study. Use them. Stay safe. I love you, son. My God. <gasps> what happened here? What did they do to my father? Holy shit, thank Is you so much. Thank you for the hearts, Spoko? too. Rotate up. Oh, I can make a different key. I've never seen a key like this before. It feels like father wanted me to keep it a secret. Damn. Okay. We got a cool key. Hey, monkey! Oh, hi there. What the you, fuck? You startled me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Hey, wait. Running with scissors achievement. Where did he go? Where do you think the key goes that we found? We haven't really found a locked thing yet, have we? Except for the desk. Should we see if he ran down? Well, I don't see him. Can't go to the front door. Um... Master Library? Um... Okay. Should we go back to the library? The cellar can wait till tomorrow. Hmm. Wait, that was take here. Take. Better safe than sorry. Holy shit, really? Uh, I have a knife. Okay. Hmm. Well, I got that out of it. Not here. Nothing. Wait, isn't this right below each other? I'm so confused. Because the door right up here leads to the library. Maybe it's this one? Okay, these doors are a no-go. The lock, lock is too heavy. Too old for this to work. Huh. The lock is too heavy. Oh, look at that. Okay, so hmm. plus and P. It doesn't fit. Yeah, I have to change it. Uh, can I rotate it? Uh. Okay, so that's the plus, the bottom one. So that's good. How about that? Yeah, that should that should work. Hmm, it doesn't fit. Hmm. I thought that was it. Maybe I did it upside down? God damn it, this is hard. Maybe like that? That could be a two, right? Open sesame. Hey. Okay. Someone's been searching here. Either they didn't have time to clean up. Wait, but or simply did not care. Does that mean there's another key? If father hid the key for me to find. Then this means nobody yeah. has been able to enter this room since his death. Exactly. So did he maybe search for something? 
Myths and Legends of the Highlands. From the mm. library, I'd wager. Okay. This looks interesting. Does it? Hmm. Hmm. It's stuck to the wall. Screwed down tight. <laughs> Someone didn't want it moved. <gasps> Maybe it's a secret corridor. Oh, fuck. Okay. So we need a combination of three. Three runes. What's that up there? Ah. Everything but the seal. What did I get? Photo piece. Okay. Just bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. It's gotta be more. Wait, what? Father wouldn't have hidden his papers somewhere as obvious as a desk drawer. Whoever did this would have searched the room after they looked in the desk. Maybe they didn't find what they were looking for. Is there a little thing in the corner? Oh, some sort of secret compartment. Ooh. Can we read it? The chapel. Father's handwriting. Family chronicles. The chapel. The family chronicles. I may find answers there. One, two, five. One, no, two, five, one. Out to in. Looks like a note about the cipher in the shelf. Okay, so we know what that is, right? No, wait, we don't know. We don't, we know what one is. That's the P. Hmm. Two, five, one. I'll write that down. Okay. Wait. A local girl goes missing. Local girl. The concerns have been raised at the disappearance of Cora McKay, a 17-year-old local girl. According to the police, she was last seen leaving her place of work, the Free Kegs Inn, two days ago. She is the third person to disappear in the recent months. Oh. But the circumstances of each have been markedly different. Cora is described as being four foot ten, with grey eyes and long dark hair. Anyone with information is urged to contact the constabulary. Is it clipping through the other documents? Why all the fuss? She is nothing but a peasant. A tavern girl. Doesn't make if her less important. Dude. Shut, don't be surprised if others make sure you get what's coming to you. This sounds as if Grandfather Edward was willing to take drastic measures to enforce his will. Hmm. This is really cool how we search the place. What a mess. Letters about the day-to-day -day running of the estate. These might be useful if I decide to live here. The handwriting must be Edward's. Pay half what he asks. Forward to lawyers. Charming. And this one. Your money won't protect you forever. The forever. The will catch up eventually. A curse on you and your family. Seems he was as popular as he was pleasant. I beg you to reconsider, Sir Edward. My family has lived on this land for many generations, and to be told we must leave our own home is too much to bear. Alice, my wife, whom you have met, is beside herself with grief. Gonna turn on my heated we blanket. We have nowhere else to go. I beg you to look inside your heart and allow us to remain. There. Bring on the heat. Have them out by the end of the month. 
The signs are there. Deny them at your peril. The ancient evil that inhabits this land has seeped into the very stone of the castle walls. And if you do not tread carefully, it Later, will Adam. infect your family. Contact the constable. Have this witch locked up so she does not bother us again. Okay. Top drawer. Hmm. I haven't looked at the top one, but... Okay, so we need... We need more runes. Rune info. We need 251. So we can only do the center one. We know this one needs to be... No, oh, wait. The P one isn't here. Hmm. Yeah, I can't go further to the left. When you look at the dial, you can pan the camera to the left. Oh, is there something else here? Oh! <laughs> is that it? Wait, so it's just these? No, this is four. Oh, this is five. Wait, how do we know which one then? Do we have to combine them maybe? There's the end thing. Oh, that was one. There. Oh, whoops. That one. Okay. Wait, which one? Pitchfork. It's not on it, is it? No. Wait, two, five, one. So the second one. Okay. Wait. No, we can't. Or unless that one is on the outer one. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's do that. So two. Oh. Whoa, the other one were accidentally correct. <laughs> What the fuck? Too dark. This castle certainly has its secrets. Okay. Uh well let's put that tower in place it then. It's very precise, accurate. A lot of work went into this. There's a bit miss hold on. <laughs> That's a bit miss. Oh. Oh damn. Stop your wait. Stop your wait. What? someone running through the room? It's the little kid, isn't it? Yeah. It's a fucking kid. Disturbing me in my sleep. Wait. I am the boy. Oh, that was. Or that was my father or my grandpa. What happened, David? Uh, the boy. There was blood and 
Eddie, he pushed him down. Who? Who do you think you saw? Him. Interesting. What did you just say, sir? It's all right. You're like your father. You can see them too, can't you? Oh my. Is it morning? My father. What did he think he saw? It ain't my place to say, sir. But I... Go on. Begging your pardon, sir. You should go. This place, it drove your father mad. Drove him? Did he say what or whom he saw? I'm sure I don't know, sir. Best not push her too hard. She's scared enough of me already. I've been babbling in my sleep since I was a child. It's nothing to worry about. Poor girl is scared out of her wits. <laughs> of course, sir. She doesn't look Sorry, too scared. Sir. Sorry, I didn't get your name. It's Ailsa, sir. Ailsa Cranon. Oh, and Ailsa. Master Andrew asks if you would join him in the library. After library. breakfast, of course. Thank you, Miss Cranon. Is it 8, 8 a.m. for breakfast? Breakfast time! Get a hold of yourself, David. What am I doing? Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. That's gonna suck. So how is the water? <laughs> Were these apparitions what drove my father from the castle when he was young? Were they what drew him back? He must have found something in the family chronicles he spoke of. <laughs> oh. Quiet is truly sleeping. She's just gone. Twitching. I put the I turned on the heated blanket, so is that in the right spot? Yeah. Nobody else saw the boy or the old man who looked like my grandfather Edward. But it felt real. More even than the daydreams that plagued my childhood. I don't remember ever seeing that boy. A faded memory, perhaps? As far as I know, I'd never been to this castle before. Where did he grow up then, as a boy? Was that India? Why India? Did Elsa his dad just send him there as a baby? Okay. He's washing the hell out of his face. <laughs> Aye, and once you're done in the kitchen, go and clean up the cellar. The spiders Ooh, made a nest down there. A big one, too. They're crawling everywhere. I guess we don't have to go to the cellar. Uh, Master David, nice of you to grace us with your presence. Mr. whatever your name was. I appreciate your patience. I've had the staff prepare some of the finest Scottish delicacies for you. Mm. Black pudding, haggis, scrambled eggs with deer brain, and bacon. That's haggis. I'll, I'll eat the sausage. I'll eat the eggs. I shot the deer myself in the local woods. I'm num 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 num. Mother was never a fan of dishes made from entrails. In this case, she'd be missing out. Isn't that nice to me? I eat everything. That was delicious. Thank you. I'm sure our local specialities must seem peculiar to one raised as you were. I was raised in India. 
My spectrum of peculiar has quite a range. Yeah. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Eat well, stay healthy. Yes, Master David? Um... Uh, how many staff are there? Nowadays, only myself, the maid, and Rory the gardener. I suppose you could include the lawyer, too, if that is work. Not many for such a big house. If you felt like hiring more staff, I would not complain, sir. But of course, not everyone is suited to work in this house. Mm -hmm. You've worked for the family all your life. Yes, Master David. Uh, Save my time serving in Swaziland. Swaziland? You served in South Africa? Oh, indeed, sir. During the Boer War. Boer. But Sir Edward intervened and I was able to return unharmed from that most futile conflict. May I ask, the maid, she seems nervous, almost afraid of me. She's afraid of everything. <laughs> you don't think much of her? I do not, sir. And if I may be so bold, one of Lady Gordon's earrings has gone missing. Oh, I found you one. You suspect the maid? Not my place to say, Master David. Yet I think you just did say. <laughs> if I gave him the earring, he'd use it as an excuse to torment the maid. Not that I'd ever gain his trust. He's clearly loyal to Lady Margaret. We well, should just. Good day to you. Oh, is Indeed, that like. Oh, sir. thank you. Thank you so much. We should give it to the lady then. Uh, just either the maid or the other one directly. It looks so different during the day. Thank you so much. <gasps> We're 300. Yeah, 300 subs. Oh, it's dark here. I don't look so well. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you for that sub. She's not lying in the chair anymore. No. Of course she wouldn't be. Okay. This is once again Sparta. Yeah. Oh, what's that? A sign of modernity, even in ancient houses like this. Phone? Is there something on the ground here? Oh, it's just a reflection. Looks like there's something around the column, but... Um... We can check the cellar. The maid should be there. Cleaning out the spiders. Oh, Juliana, welcome! Oh, <laughs> that name! You made that especially for me. Thank you. Uh, Miss Cranon? Uh... I'll do the earring last. Isn't that used for transporting cooked food? Why is there blood in it? Ugh, the wee scholar thought it would be funny to put one of his dead beasties in it to fear me. He should keep them in the cellar and... Sorry, sir. I'm speaking out of turn. Did you ever talk to my father? I was serving here when he... That is to say, I... Go on, please. I didn't think it'd be proper, sir. Lady Margaret said... Oh, sorry, sir. I must get on with my work. She's as scared of Margaret as she is of the butler. Poor girl. Hmm. I noticed the attic door is locked. You'd best ask Angus, sir. I hardly go up there. The mere mention of the attic terrified her. What is in there? I think you may have lost this. Oh, sir! <gasps> oh, thank you, sir. I only wanted to see how it looked in the mirror. I didn't mean to. I was scared to tell her ladyship. Yay! She can have such a temper. Now she maybe likes us more. To now? Uh, if I can sneak it into the salon, maybe her ladyship will think she lost it there herself. 
From what I know about her, I very much doubt her ladyship <laughs> will. Would you like me to escort you to the cellar? Wouldn't be proper to ask the owner of the house to do that, sir. Well, I'm <laughs> not was the owner T -A -E yet. And you didn't ask. Very kind of you, sir. Happy to help. I'll let you know when I'm ready to accompany you down there. Okay. What happened to my father here? I'm sorry, sir. You're not like the rest of them here. Oh, sir, there's things you should know, but I really need this job. She knows something, mm. but how can I convince her to trust me? I shall leave you to your work. Okay. So we can go to the cellar with her later. Should we talk to anyone else? Or should we just have a look? Maybe if we walk up to the door, we can go down. Shall we? Oh, there we go. Let's see. Basement time. Oh, I'll see you later, singing. Bra ba ba ba. Harsh as it may seem, a proper serving of fire is the only way to get rid of such a widespread infestation. <sighs> How cruel of Mr. McKinnon to send her down here alone. Eh, I mean, it's not too bad. Ooh, good candle. Let's see what we can find down here. Hehe, <laughs> let's go. Wait, fire. Can we clean this out? Like this is as close as I get. Otherwise, I'll have them crawling all over me. I have to find a way to eliminate them altogether. Not with the fire? Hmm. Okay. Oh. The water of life. Whiskey. Some of these whiskeys are from local distilleries. Oh, there's a deer there. <laughs> What's that? Raw spirit. Not particularly palatable. But good for cleaning and magic tricks. Okay. Ooh, a lot of blood for just one animal. He's not hanging over it, it fresh. either. <laughs> Master Eddie's work. He and Mr. McKinnon put it here earlier. Poor beastie. Eddie. Another family member I've yet to meet. Hmm. Weird. <sighs> Not the most hygienic workstation. Hygienic? I would say hygienic. Mm, a hunting map. Looks like they've been poaching <gasps> outside the Gordon estate. Are we going outside maybe at some point? Nah. Oh. Oh. I'm going to torch the spiders, douse them in alcohol, and then light, light it on fire. Nothing else? Hmm. Okay, let's do it. Burn. Step right up. Sir? What are you... D Damn! Oh my! Oh, that's amazing! Uh, does that not hurt? Damn, dude! No, a little trick I learned in India. What? Why the fuck was that in there? Sorry. Did that scare you, Elsa? I didn't think. Huh. Who's this dude? He has quite the acne. Who are and you? you are? Edward Malori. You may call me Edward the 3rd. So this is cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie. He seems welcome to my castle. As terrible Your as castle? The rest of them. My castle indeed. Asshole. Pleased to meet you, Eddie. Eddie. So your parents would be my aunt and uncle Clara and Victor. Are they dead? Dead as door nails, the pair of them. Lovely. You've lived here all your life, so you would have met my father. 
Only after he lost what marbles he had left. If it were up to me, I'd have locked him up in the loony bin a bit sooner. Mm. Locked him up? So what are you doing down here anyway? There's a line between honesty and rudeness that Cousin Eddie doesn't seem to recognize. I was helping Miss Cranon. Oh, why didn't you ask me? Excuse me, sir. Sirs. I really have to go. Leaving so soon? Uh, was it something I said? Hmm. They all tend to act like that in the presence of nobility. Ugh. You said something. It's dude. About a loony bin? I did. Oh, later, Rockley. Oh. oh, you don't know. Well? Well, never you mind. I have an animal to prepare. I'm getting very tired of everyone in this house avoiding my questions. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame him. Uh, okay. Uh, there's something you should know, sir. Something important. I overheard them talking and I... Uh, you're paid to work, not chat. Get to it, girl. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. Library after dinner. Oh! Last, I might get some answers. Wait, what did we do the entire day? If it's already dinner time. Uh, I'm playing on PC. It might come to consoles. I actually don't really know. Um... I think I got a key from the devs. Yeah, I uh, I got it through Evolve. It's a, a website you can uh, request keys from different developers. I have my eye on this one. Um, what should we do? Let's see, quest log. Who was the boy? Meet up with Elisa, Elsa after dinner. Um. Who was the boy? Do you think we just need to find like a a picture? Flame torch spiders all day. Yeah. I don't know if it's past dinner time already. Oh, what's that? It's labeled Mallory. Perhaps another client of Mr. Harrison. Hmm. Can it carry read it? It's labeled Mallory. Oh, no. Okay, Mallory. But no dinner. Or is there? Enter garden? If the old man I saw was really my grandfather Edward, then the boy must be. I need to find out if that really was him I saw. Are you really going outside? If the old man I saw was- Hmm. Okay, nothing we can do here yet. So maybe, I th I'm thinking maybe we just need to find like family pictures or something. I could be wrong though. Oh, the lady. Smoking a pipe. I thought that would be beneath her station. Apparently not. Uh, Lady Margaret. Oh, that book. <laughs> David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soon is mended. I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. Hmm. His arm is creepy, how it's twisted. Uh. What kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome. And caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. All was so very different when he was around. Mm. The maid. 
She seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. Curse? No, baby. What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. Hmm. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, I don't trust her. You do not know about your father. This is his doing. What? But but how? What's she showing? I'd rather not discuss it, David. A neck wound? And that maid should really keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Oh, and David, the master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father oh, the book. understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. Isn't that his grandmother then? Isn't my father her son? A cabinet? I am i don't know what you mean. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know anything about it. I see. Never mind then. Hmm. Oh, we dropped the... Oh. Let's see if my trusty key will get this open. Oh. <sighs> Not like this. Can I zoom, though? I mean, I can't really see it. Looks like the plus should maybe be on the other side this time. I can't really see it. Can I zoom in, please? Okay. Let's look at the key again. So it looks like we have to rotate everything four ways this time. So, that one should be there, maybe? It looks like it's missing a piece, though. Like something, you can slide another piece on the key. On the bottom part. I feel like we're missing that. We're missing one more piece. That, those little white... Definitely the man I saw last night. But how? The little white lines on the floor. He died before I was even born. Then he'd be in his seventies if he was still alive. Well, you obviously saw a flashback. Draws power from the phone line itself. Oh. A sign of modernity, even in ancient houses like this. Called a doctor. A sign of. Hmm. Okay, I feel like we've checked everywhere now. Dinner? Uh, it's uh, 1 p.m. or something, so no. No, it's 12? Yeah, it's past noon. I won't have dinner for a long time, no. I keep thinking I just need to find like maybe here. This will make it easier to carry. Maybe the kids on the picture. The boy. It must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the back. Cool. Let's check. Lady Margaret. She looks happy. I can't imagine her smiling like that these days. I was right. We needed a picture. <laughs> the boy. The boy. How did he provoke Edward That's into your throwing father. down the stairs? <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. 
My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in... blood? Another vision? Whoa. Whoa. We're in the painting. Whoa. Dude. Jesus. That was creepy. Regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions are like nothing I've ever experienced before. And they're getting worse. Okay. Oh my god, this blanket is so nice. I need to thank Susie again. My lap is so warm. And there's a cat on my lap. Also super happy with the extra warmth. <laughs> um... What should I do? Do I have to talk to the lady? Is that what he said? Grandpa wanted to say hello, yeah. Is she still here? Should we talk to her again? Uh, Lady Margaret? Wait. Yes, David. She put the pipe in the ashtray, but she's still holding it. Or is she holding glasses this time? I saw an old photograph of a boy in the other room. Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. <sighs> ah, that was taken in 1894. Glasses? Young Johnny, your father. You can remember the exact year. It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. But not what you had for breakfast. Maybe others can't. Um, who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara and your late great-grandmother, the last true Countess of Scarhandu House. And my dear Edward, of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar in his face. How did that happen? He fell down the stairs. <sighs> Falling from a tree, perhaps? I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. Can't recall. But you remember the date the photograph was taken. Hmm. Be excellent. No, Vertigo, thank you. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you think it's time to talk to the maid? No dinner, I think. No. Um, she wanted to see me in the library, right? Let's see. Mm, so it's not the left one, but this room. Should be it. Hey, I'm going. Good to see you. Let me check my objectives. Meet up with Elsa after dinner. Find the grave from the painting. Oh, we're going outside. That's cool. Oh. David. Apologies for not being here to greet you. As the telephone in the castle is not working due to the recent storm, I have had to journey to the village to communicate with my office. I see. Upon my return, I shall show you to the chapel where you can pay your respects to your father. Yours, Andrew Harrison. Or maybe okay. I'll just head to the chapel myself. Just as soon as the weather clears. Man, wouldn't it be awesome to explore this house? 
So many secrets. We checked that. She must be upstairs then. She's not lurking around here. Nope. She set the library, right? Yeah, she did. I wish there was a little pop-up that would say, like, she's waiting for you now. Well, I don't see her. Hope she isn't dead now. Yeah, forces, that's about it. <laughs> um, God damn it, what's next? We have to wait for the weather to clear. And we have to meet the lady in the library, but she's not in the library yet. So, she said after dinner. Yeah, but uh, maybe I should check in the kitchen. Maybe they're preparing dinner or something. Um, kitchen. Was it here? Yeah, he's gonna be here 10 years waiting for the rain to stop. Where is everyone? Jesus. Can't even find the blind dude. That kettle's very red. Can't do anything with it though. Hmm. Should we check the basement? I better leave cousin Eddie to Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll have to have dinner first to trigger her, but I've been to the dining room several times now as well. Um, Fritz, if you know, then uh, feel free to let me know where I need to be next. Found the picture. I'll try the dining again. Maybe it's different now I have the picture. I keep forgetting. It wasn't there. No servants here either. Oh! Did we just leave? I thought we were waiting for the weather to clear. Oh shit! Oh, the music! <sighs> Finally, some fresh air. <sighs> <sighs> oh, we're running! Master David. How you does he know? Tell it was me. Your footsteps. I ken the walk of everyone here. Well, that's huh. that's rather incredible. Aye, that it is, laddie. That it is. I hear better than most. See more than He's most. He's daredevil. Of Father had a similar toolbox. Back when he still fixed things around the house. Father had a similar when you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? I like his coat. He should not have come back. You cannot go through what he did as a bairn and no be sick. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, you should think on what the poison groom here did to your father. You can? No. Is that like a really. Scottish thing? Can instead of no? If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. I'll leave you to it then. 
I wish I had a map. Must be hard to look after the plants when you can barely see them. I know, right? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, it's a car. Whose car is this? It's pretty. The weather is nice. Ken means understand, no. Huh. Cool. Ken is a local dialect here for because. Makaru Ken. It's like because I know that, blah blah. I've seen this before in the painting. This is the grave I, I saw in that waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who's buried here? If I could just... Ah, these vines are too thick. <laughs> okay, so we need a tool of some kind. I need something to cut through these. Okay. Uh, I'm just uh, drinking a Coke Zero. Nobody left to mourn the dead, all care for their graves, it seems. Mm, locked with a padlock. Hmm. Andrew will have a key. The lawyer, dude? But I'm not keen on waiting for his return. To. Mm, mm, okay, so he wants like a. He wants several tools. Something to cut the vines and something to cut the lock, maybe. Checking to see if there's anything else here. Doesn't look like it. Do you think we can go to where uh, our dad died? The frame rate is a little bit choppy here. Sorry about that. It has issues loading the outside, I guess. Yeah, we probably have to have find something from the toolbox. I'm sure he wouldn't mind lending us some stuff. Rory's tools. A hammer, a talon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. Rory's tools. Can't take it with him here, I guess. And then we just run off a cliff. Ah, dead. Let's see. Oh. Another photo piece. A steady enough vessel, if you trust your swimming skills. Hmm. Where do you want to go? Oh, how nice. I can see why Rory likes this. Oh, he's just sitting down this enjoying the view. He's even the most troubled soul. How nice. That was a nice little moment. Oh yeah, I finished Unforgiving. It was like two and a half hours. Wait. Oh, it loops around. I see. Maybe if we honk the horn, we can get the dude away from his toolbox. Can't do anything with the car though. Why would you leave the car running with the lights on? Oh. Are these photo pieces just collectibles, maybe? Maybe we should talk to him again and just ask if we can borrow it. Rory's tools. Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. If I can what you need it for. Uncover graves. The graves. I would like to tidy them up. That way I can pay my respects properly. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. Ah, fair enough, laddie. 
Just grab it yourself, will ye? The place he's fixing the door of looks really nice. Can I talk to him about some other stuff? Uh, you wouldn't have to have a chapel key, would you? Ain't set a foot in there for years, and I don't intend to either. That'll be a no then. Hmm. Okay. If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. I'll leave you to it then. We have the bolt cutters. Let's go. He has a really nice coat. I wonder who dressed him though, because if he just came from India, I I doubt they dress like that in India. Wouldn't he be like more accustomed to local culture? Did he just dress up like this because someone told him that's proper when he uh, entered the country? Better, Cecilia Shawnee Gordon. Aunt Cecilia. Now, let's see if there's something really buried in here. Another piece of the castle model. Oh shit! That's awesome. <gasps> yes. Another part of the model. And it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Oh. Why did father bury this when he was a child? Oh. Someone get killed? Someone like fell on the model and bumped their head open? Okay, let's open the padlock. Man, open sesame. Let's go. British culture in India was rather insular. Most most people trying to be very very British in dress dress and manner. Oh, okay. Huh. I didn't know that. The place is crumbling. Not the safest spot to pray. Hmm. Can they fix this up? I guess they didn't want to. What's Being that? Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon, the year of our Lord, 1413. That's old. Local legend speaks of this particular glen as being inhabited from time immemorial. Enigmatic. Elaborately carved pectish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. Mm -hmm. The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast, bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought <gasps> that to their religion Boom. and druid clerics. The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, forever. even until this present day. It is said that the sempiternal burden our family carries rose at that time. It is well recorded how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots. <laughs> That they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory. Powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. This aid did come at the greatest of costs. The voice acting is so good. Unsettled. A price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. Hmm. Did we make some deal? For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us as we kept the secrets of Skahandu, the secrets of the Black Mirror. Even as tragedy Ooh. and madness did fester in our foundations, we held fast and steered the land through vile English attack, and worse. In time, the Gordons and the land became one. Damn, son. Some pages have been ripped out. The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. 
In blood we are bound to the land we protect, to the truths we alone may conceal. I shall forfeit my life, lest my clan should suffer. I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound till the day of the reckoning. What are you? Where is the call coming from? <laughs> That's a familiar sound. Okay, should we not have read that? Are we fucked now? Whoa! The fuck? Is this what madness feels like? It can't be real. Whoa, are we on the water? What? That's amazing! What are we gonna do? What's that? What the hell? All this looks like the bottom of a lake. Sure does. <gasps> Fishy. What are you trying to show me? Do I need to find something in the water? We did find that boat. Wow, that... What kind of drugs do you take, man? Oh, who fell just now? Oh, oh, oh. Can I touch it? She's not holding a baby, but some heavy object to weigh herself down. Damn. Wow, this is really cool. Oh, it's a vase? There's a fresh wound across her stomach. The figure up there must be... Edward. Oh. Okay, so... What does that tell us? Do we need to climb up there somehow? Oh, maybe I can. Maybe it leads to the back there. Let me see. There we go. A note. I'm taking my baby with me to save it from this Rotten family. Damn. Find my child. Oh, 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 dude, you just broke your back. <gasps> Watch out. Don't give me a cutie. <gasps> you a lady, who this? Are you all right? Who are you? Uh, uh, yes, I am. I can do this. Oof. Uh, did you... did you see her? She... Uh, drowned. Calm down, you're in shock. What were you doing clambering about in here? <laughs> oh, if I told you, 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 you'd think me mad. Odd. That is just what your father said to me. <laughs> Who are what? you? Who are you? My name is Dr. Leah Farber. I treated your father Faber. at the asylum. The hmm. asylum. Let's get you back to the castle and make sure you are all right. Okay. Enter waifu. <laughs> oh, I'm grumpy now. What's this about an asylum? As I said, your father was admitted. Why? Who did that to him? I did. But unfortunately, he managed to escape. Hmm. What? Hold on a minute. How dare you come in here and... Told you? Your father was a madman. A complete and utter madman. Don't mind me. Please continue. What? Asshole. What did you come here for? 
I'm not sure your father's story is finished yet. And there are some things I still need to make my peace with. Oh, she's smart. Well, what right did you have to lock my father up in a, in a madhouse? I was his doctor. I understand you are in shock, but you have no right to speak to me in such a way. I was trying to help yeah, him. Yeah, respect the lady. He's dead. Capital job. <laughs> now, hold on just a minute. Eddie? Loading. Jesus! Oh no! Don't tell me it's the maid. <laughs> the maid get murdered? She was about to tell me something. It's the maid, isn't it? Oh, her head's in the buck in the blood bucket. Damn. Who did it? Who done it? That's a cool shot though. Hmm. Eddie, it'll be all right. Pull yourself together. It's only a dead maid. I suggest nobody else goes down there. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. I shall alert them first thing in the morning. What an unfortunate accident. An accident? You think so? It might be the Just lawyer, dude. The madman's son turned up at our door. He and might have been using the going into town to your hands. make a call as a cover. How dare you? I was too late. I was trying to help, but she, she. <laughs> there, there, my sweet boy. Let's get you to bed. Angus, would you? What's with this camera angle? Of course, ma'am. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. Hmm. I, I don't trust the lawyer, no dude. To, but I need you to trust me. I'm the only one on your side when it comes to your father's death. Lady Margaret certainly isn't. But if I told you what I saw in the chapel, you'd have me in a padded cell just like my father. Why did you come here? To make sure my father was successfully in the ground? We already discussed this, With but... With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried such everything tone. I could to aid your father. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me, to prevent any further violent outburst or so Lady Margaret had said. But or so the Lady Margaret wrong. had said. Even then. Mm. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up. I tried to help him. He was convinced he was carrying some ancient curse that he was being haunted by evil. I wish I had reached him had been able to reach him. Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. <laughs> father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Yes. Who knows? I think what scared him was beyond the physical. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To get as far away as possible? Probably. I believe so. And yet, here you are, in the very place he sought to protect you from. Who knows? Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get. <laughs> even from the other side of the world. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? Nah. Uh, eh. I'll avoid it I have for other now. things to worry about right now. Things like a drowning woman floating in thin air. If you really want to help me, I need to find out what the maid knew. What Lady Margaret and Angus didn't want her to tell me. You believe it got her killed? Yes. Maybe. What I saw in the chapel, it has to be real. Oh. 
She must have drowned herself. We shouldn't forget we have the other um, piece. It's all in my mind. Like father. The model piece. Like son. I want to save, actually. How do I do that? Menu? We haven't saved yet. <gasps> if the game had crashed, we would have lost everything. Holy fuck. Um, I've been going two and a half hours. We have gotten stuck a lot, but I think just one more stream should do it if I leave it here. And it would also actually be nice because we have stuff we can use. So, like, we can immediately investigate next time we stream. I think. Look at the master key image. It has more pieces on it in the image than we have. See that? So we definitely need one more piece for it. Maybe if we put this inside, we can uh, we get a new piece or something. But yeah, uh, what time is it? I would want to stream a little bit longer, but I also don't want to cut the other streams short when we finish this game. Um, it's almost 1 p.m. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it for today. We saved. Let me save again, just in case. There. Okay. Thank you, Jawachi, for that donation. Super nice of you. Thank you also for cheering. And Freda, Cody, Gam, and Caterpillar as well. Thank you guys for the bits. Thank you, Jesse, Blanche, and Silent Hill fan for following me today. Thank you. I hope you like puzzle games. Darth, Avenger, Lima, Klaus, Slothric, Starduster, Us, Usagi, Boogie, Zylek, and Ah Thomas. Thank you so much for subbing and resubbing. Thank you, guys. We made it back to 300, so that's awesome. Um, tomorrow, I have listed... Um, Left 4 Dead 2, but it might not go through because Craven had uh, plans and he tried to change the time, but then, um, but then John was like, "No, we can't do another time." So, if if that gets cancelled, I'll just move everything up one spot. So then we'll do um, instead of doing Left 4 Dead 2 on Saturday morning, we will try and finish Horizon Zero Dawn on Saturday morning. Um, that's it. Thank you everyone who was here today. I had a lot of fun. One more stream should do it, so I'll plan. Uh, I'll put this in the event a list. I'll make sure that to plan another stream so we can finish it and you guys can put in a reminder if you want to see the end. Uh, if not, it'll also go to YouTube. So thank you everyone for being here today. It was awesome. And I will see you tomorrow, Saturday morning. Wait, it's Thursday for you guys, isn't it? So day after tomorrow, I guess. Uh, but Saturday morning American time. I will see you for Love for That 2 or Horizon. Thank you guys. See you there. Bye. Good night.